the Sim Sim. Oh, hey friends, here we are again. Listen, quick intro. I'm gonna say this, every time I make a video, I'm out to show you something, the views or some sort of frame rate or something. As soon as I put the video out, y'all ask questions and it's stuff that I never think about. So in this video, I'm gonna address my new graphics card. Ooh, look what I got. And of course it's running the game a lot better. Uh, one of the big things that I'm getting out of it is 4K on the main screen always. I'm always running 4K. So I ran a little test for you guys to show you options. If you wanna get multi-monitor, if you wanna get triple screens, um, I ran a test where every single test had the center screen in 4K. We're making best use out of that 3080. We're getting amazing graphics, amazing fidelity. For the sides, I'm gonna start with 4K on the sides also, which will take its toll on that 3080. So let's see what we get. After that, I'm gonna keep the center in 4K, but we will do 2K on the sides. So we're gonna start to reduce it where I say where it doesn't matter, right? We're on, on the peripherals. And finally, we're gonna do 4K in the center and 1080 on the side. So again, I consider it peripheral. Sometimes we look out, we take a little reference out there, but let's see, let's see what we do. So I already did it. I know the answers, but stick around, watch the comparison and oh, Wait till the end if you want to see my flight simulator settings and all my options and also my NVIDIA settings. So yeah, with that, let's go after it, boys. So let's keep this simple. Vanilla airplane, 152 Cessna, all right? First up, 4K centers with 4K sides. All right, boys, here we go. Now we're running 4K, 4K, 4K. True 4K all the way. You're going to see that in the settings in a moment. All right, 40 frames per second in Ann Arbor on the ground. All right, we got our flaps. Let's release the brake. And she goes. There she goes. Again, we're keeping it vanilla. Cessna 152, workhorse of the industry. 39, 40 as we roll. Can't say this enough. I have added scenery and all sorts of added things. It can't possibly help. So 40, airspeed is alive. Let's rotate the sucker. Boom! Off the ground, baby. Here we go. Clean up the flaps. Downtown Ann Arbor looking gorgeous again. 38. Let's climb a little bit aggressively here. Cause trying to get it. As I said, the higher you go, the better the, better the frame rate gets, right? All right, we're touching up on 40. Of course it makes a difference, right? Yeah, there we go, just kissed up on 40. Remember we were getting almost 49.50 at one point, so we lost almost 10 uh, frames per second by going 4K all the way, as they say. I know, fair to say, guys, I'm, I'm not going to get any better than 40, right? I'm trying to get her to settle here a little bit. Come on, baby, can we do? Can we do better? 40? 40.6? No, she don't want it. It's all right. You did good. You did good. <clears throat> Ann Arbor looking gorgeous. Anyways, I think that proves the point. Okay, boys, all right, let's move on. Second, 4K center with 2K sides. Scenery makes things a run a little bit slower. <clears throat> Looking up at the top, I hope you can see it. 46, 45. On the ground, okay? All right, let's go. Make sure the flaps are down. And they are confirmed. All right, power in, my friends. Here we go. Break off. And here we go. To be clear, I'm running 4K and 2K on the sides. So, all right, here we go. We're rolling. We're going 38, 40 frames per second. Here, speed is alive and rotation, baby. Rotation station. All right. Okay, there. All right. Let's get the flaps up. Beautiful Ann Arbor, downtown. Let's trim her up a little bit. 
Let her climb up. As she climbs up, we're 41 again. Nice. I do have all sorts of like traffic add-ons and stuff, and I'm, you know, seriously, it can't possibly help me, right? But, so here we go. The higher we climb, the better it gets. 43, 45. Running on a 3080, not overclocked at all. 45, 47. All right, baby. How high can we go? Look at that. 47, 48, 49, I saw. Kissing up on 49. So, 49, 50. Guys, I wish I was lying, but I can't help you. It's good. It's really good. 50, 50 flat. She does do that sometimes. I don't know if you guys caught that. She flickers. I can't help it. I have no idea what's happening. And we get a little dip sometimes. We just dipped to 35, but you know, 47, 49. It's looking good, boys. Lastly, 4K center with 1080p sides. 4K, 1080, 1080. You can already start to see a difference. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's super pixelated. The shadows are being a little stupid. But again, remember, we're always focused this way. This is peripheral. We just take reference, right? We look this way. We take a little reference. We look that way. Um, so, you know, this is where the juice is at. We're going 47 already, 47 frames per second. So, yes, you cannot read. I think I can barely read. Do not open window something above. It barely readable, right? And that's usually very clear. So, with that said, all right, let's go. We got 47 on the ground. In Ann Arbor, vanilla. Got the flaps, they're good. Break, break off. All right, here we go. So, we're getting 42. We were getting 47 before we took off. So just remember, like, just so you think you're about to get 60, 70 frames per second, let's not get it twisted, right? The difference is small, so you have to remind yourself, do I want 40 frames per second or do I want 50? Uh, because then you just lose a lot of the detail. So we just took off. Let's give it a chance. Let's go a little higher. So yeah, I mean, I have no doubt it's going to go over 50. But if it doesn't, remember, we had a better option that capped at 50. We got a horrible option. Can barely get up to 50. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. It's not necessarily a one-to-one. -one. Just because you lowered it doesn't mean you're going to get that many more frames a second. Here we go, 50. So it's getting getting up to 50 really quickly, but it doesn't necessarily mean anything because if we don't go past that 50, what was the point, right? Why, why would I degrade my screens if I'm getting a cap around 50? Yep. I mean, it's fair to say, again, I don't know how else to put it. We're kissing up on 50 and it just won't stop. So I guess that's the main takeaway, guys. Please be careful. You think you're going to degrade your image just so you can g gain some FPS and then come to find out you're degrading the image and you're gaining nothing. So be careful. 50. I cannot get it past 50, as you guys can see. 49, 50, 50, 50, nothing. So anyways, guys, I hope that helps you. You know, I'm going to have the settings, uh, obviously, after every switch. Look at it and check it out. Love you guys. See you soon. All right, boys. Here we go. The results are in. So, as we can see, 4K went pretty decent, you know. For tri triple screens, we got 40 frames per second. 4K on every single screen. That's asking a lot of this card. Uh, and 2K, we got up to 50 frames per second. And 50 frames per second feels pretty good. But when we downgraded to 1080, that's the interesting part, right? So we had downgraded uh, four times less pixels per screen on the two side screens. That should be a huge difference. And what do we get? 50 frames. I mean, you guys saw it. You saw my developer mode up at the top. Uh, I'm not making this up. So listen, we love this game. But as always, it's unpredictable in many ways. There's a lot of factors that make it go. I couldn't even start to explain to you why this is happening. These are the facts. I did not change the settings. The settings are the same for every single uh, permutation that you see up on the screen. And yeah, these are the results. So where do you think your guy is going to go? 4K and 2K on the sides, baby. It makes no sense. I could really eat up those uh, extra 10 frames. 
it just makes the game look better and trust me 2k on the sides that's plenty you can still read the text you can uh see everything that's happening so anyways with that said i really love you guys take a moment go over the settings and uh yeah hit me a little subscribe a little like and uh i don't know share share the video all right boys here we go let me take you through the flight simulator settings as you can see this is the main screen the center screen 38 40 by 21 60 that's the proper resolution for my tv you might have a 4000 pixel display i do not um it is in full screen nvidia dlss is on ultra performance is on sharpening at 100 v-sync off always off baby and i explained that a little bit later uh, of course dx12 in beta and yeah let's go from there terrain level 100 uh, caching medium vector data medium and let's go down from the building trees and grass all medium of course at 4k it doesn't really make a difference i i know it gets better but it doesn't make that big of a difference objects level of detail 105 clouds is, is high of course we love the clouds uh texture resolution we, of course we need high filtering is off 4k is extremely sharp Texture super sampling two times two is pretty good. Synthesis medium, waves medium, and then my shadows going down from there. My shadows is as low as they get. Contact shadows low, windshield effects medium, and finally one of the important ones, ambient occlusion off. You got to have that off. It just eats up the, the whole GPU. Uh, reflections pretty low. Ray march reflections on medium. I love light shafts. I love lighting effects on high. Bloom on and uh depth of field is off i ran these tests with it on so i'm sure it made a difference i don't know why it was on i like it off so to take all my tests and add another one frame per second motion blur you do not need motion blur in a triple screen it does the blurring for you if you're moving fast enough you don't need it lens correction off and lens flare on of course who doesn't like lens flare so here are my nvidia panel settings one of the things that i noticed and please don't ask me to describe in detail you cannot run surround you cannot spin your displays in surround and it's a long explanation because as soon as you create three different windows for flight simulator and you go full screen one of these windows whichever one you tell it to go full screen will span across the whole entirety of all three screens i know it doesn't sound like it makes sense so i'm telling you it's designed to only run well in uh, without surround enabled. So I have three individual displays, as you can see, one, two, three. Uh, here's the resolution. Do not ask me. Uh, I, I did the test. I found out that my TVs are not 4096 by 2160. They are actually 3840 by 2160. Uh, that's what made sense, so I kept it that way. Uh, and they run at 60 Hertz. So with that said, let's go through the settings. I'm not going to pretend like I understand everything, so we're just going to go with it. I'll tell you what I'm running, and this is what works for me. Image scaling, we want to keep it normal. Well, however it, it gets rendered, that's how it gets displayed. Ambient occlusion, I know what that is. That's extremely complicated shadowing that makes it look more realistic, and that takes a toll on a graphics card. So that one I always have off, although it's very, very good. Uh, it does make the game look better. I do believe uh, that the application overrides this setting even though it says off i know that the game can run ambient occlusion and i usually have it off uh anisotropic filtering i leave that to application control that's your times four times 16 and so on anti-aliasing on gamma correction on and mode is off we skip the next two we don't have anything there uh, background application max frame rate off gpus all of them DSR factors, that's just making, uh, enhancing the image. We're not going to mess with any of that. Smoothness, nope. Low latency mode, nope. We're not, it's not a first shooter game. Max frame rate, off. I cannot describe this enough. I promise you, do not mess with this. Don't put this on 60 because your TVs only run 60 frames a second. There's a glitch. I'm not the only one who said it. If you put it on 60, it will divide by three and every screen will run no more than 20 frames per second. I have it in one of my videos. I proved it. That's just what happens. I can't explain it. It doesn't make any sense. If you say 60 max, it will split the difference between all your screens. 
multi-frame sample AA off, OpenGL rendering, I'm forcing it to my 3080. Power management mode, I'm always preferring maximum performance. Uh, cache size, 10 gigs, texture fil filtering on, negative LOD bias allow, quality performance, trilinear optimization on, threaded optimization auto, triple buffering on. So I've gone through and read all of these. This is just what made sense for me, and I've had it like this for quite a while. If you all read through this and you see something you disagree with, holla at your boy. Let me know. I'm I'm willing to learn. Please. I'm not telling you this is it. I'm telling you this is it for me. So vertical sync, use the 3D application settings. V-Sync always cuts back on frames per second. My thing is this, we're flying slow planes, the turning, the rotation is a little bit slower, so you're not going to get tearing across the screens. Uh, I noticed as soon as I turn it on, I'm losing 3, 4, 5 FPS. So you have the option, that's why it says 3D application will be in control. You have the option of turning it on if you want to in the game. I personally do not. Anyways, boys, yep, these are my NVIDIA control panel settings. You can pause it, rewind it, and mute my stupid explanation and just go through it. I love you. Please come back and watch me wave my hands in front of my GoPro. Uh, and yeah, let's enjoy this together. Listen, as always, come back, ask questions, not because I know the answers, but because you get me thinking and we find out the answers together. Also, please, if you know any secrets and you want to teach me something, would you please say something that I could do? Teach me. Uh, I'm open. I'm open-minded. Let's learn together. Love you, boys. See you soon.